Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about coronary circulation. So this is the circulation or the blood vessels which supply blood to the heart. So I'll just draw the heart up quickly here. So I'm also drawing in the vessels of the heart, that is the coronary circulation. A solid line represents a vessel on the front of the heart, and a dashed line represents a vessel on the far side or the posterior side of the heart. So first of all, let's label the great vessels. Here's the aorta, the pulmonary trunk, the superior vena cava, and the inferior vena cava. Now this vessel here is the right coronary artery And this one over here is the left coronary artery, and they arise from the aorta just after the aortic valve. Down here we have the right marginal branch, and posteriorly we have the posterior interventricular artery. These last two branches or arteries are branches of the right coronary artery. They anastomose or join where I've drawn the diamonds with those branches of the left coronary artery on the far side. So here we have the circumflex artery and that's a branch of the left and it runs around onto the back onto the posterior side of the heart. Here we have the anterior interventricular artery. Also known as the LAD, which stands for the left anterior descending artery. And that's a term normally used by surgeons. Now this one last branch up here is only a very small branch, but it's very important. And it's called the nodal branch. And it's named the nodal branch because it supplies the sinoatrial node, which is the major pacemaker for the heart. And that's a quick overview of the coronary circulation. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.